Fourth grade, module one, lesson five, homework. Number one, label the units in the place value chart. Draw place value disks to represent each number in the place value chart. Use less than, greater than, or equal to to compare the two numbers. Write the correct symbol in the circle. So first, let's label the units in the place value chart. So we have our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions. And then it wants us to draw, di draw place value disks to represent each number in the place value chart. So let's start with 909,013. So there's nothing in the millions place. But there is a nine in the hundred thousands place. So I'm going to draw nine here. In the ten thousands, there's a zero right there. So I'm not going to put anything in the ten thousands. In the thousands, there's nine. In the hundreds, there's a zero. In the tens, there's just one. And the ones has a three. Okay, now 90,013, so we start in the 10 thousands place, there's a 9. Nothing in the thousands, nothing in the hundreds, there's a 1 in the tens place, and a 3 in the ones place. So now we can compare. What we're looking for is to see, let's first just decide which one is larger. So we can compare, I'm going to start in the ones place, so the ones place is the same, the tens place is the same, the hundreds is the same, the thousands, here we have nine thousands, but there's a zero thousands there, zero there, zero there. So there's this is where things start to get different. But we want to look at the largest place value here, and the largest place value is hundred thousands. And the first number has nine hundred thousands, and the second number has none. So 900,000 is going to be greater than 000,000 in that place value. Okay, B, let's go ahead and label the chart. And then we have 210,005, so this time I'll start in the ones place. So we have five in the ones place, nothing in the tens, nothing in the hundreds, nothing in the thousands, there's a one in the ten thousands, and two in the hundred thousands. So the next one has, it's 220,005, so there's five in the ones place, Nothing in the tens, nothing in the hundreds, nothing in the thousands, two in the ten thousands, and two in the hundred thousands. I'm going to start, this time I'll start by comparing the largest number. So here, they both have two hundred thousands, so those are equal. So that doesn't help us determine anything. But if we look at the ten thousands, this has one ten thousand, this has two ten thousands. So this one, the first one is less than, one is less than two. So we can say 210,005 is less than 220,005. Number two, compare the numbers by using the symbols less than, greater than, or equal. Write the correct symbol in the circle. So what I like to do is put them on top of each other, and then it's easy to compare. So we have 501,107 and 89,171. So here I can already see that this top number is larger because there's nothing in the hundred thousands place in this bottom number. So the five in the hundred thousands place is greater than the zero in the hundred thousands place and the other number. So this is greater than. 
Here we have 300,000 plus 50,000 plus 1,000 plus 800. Let's write that as a st in standard form. So we have 351,800. We're comparing that to 605,000. So 605,908. So if we put them on top of each other, it's very important that you keep the place values lined up. So if we look at the largest place value, where you just need to compare the three and the six. So we would say three is less than six. So the 300,000 is less than 605,908. C. Three hundred thousands, three thousands, eight hundreds, four tens. Let's write that out. So we have three in the hundred thousands place, three in the thousands place. So I don't see anything about a ten thousand, so I'm going to put a zero there. Then we have a three in the thousands place. Next would be the hundreds place, there's an eight. Then the tens place is a four, and there's nothing in the ones place. So if we compare these, they are actually, if we start looking at all the place values, they are all the exact same. So these two are equal. And D, five hundreds, six ten thousands, two ones. So this is actually a little bit out of order. The, the largest place value we have is the six ten thousands. I'm going to put a six in the ten thousands place and then look for something in the thousands. I don't see anything in the thousands, so I'll put a zero there. The next place value is the hundreds. There's a five in the hundreds place. The next would be the tens place. I don't see any tens, so I'm going to put a zero. And then a two in the ones place. Compared to three ten thousands, five hundreds, one one. So a three in the ten thousands place. Nothing in the thousands. Five in the hundreds, nothing in the tens, and one in the ones. If we compare these, we'll start with the largest place value here, the six and the three. So if I compare the six and the three, six is greater than three, so 60,502 is greater than 30,501. Number three, use the information in the chart below to list the height in feet of each skyscraper from shortest to tallest, then name this tallest skyscraper. So we're looking for the, um, we need to list the skyscraper from shortest to tallest. So the shortest, let's start by comparing, they already have them all lined up for us. So they all have a one in the thousands place. So let's compare the hundreds place. So the shortest one would be the smallest number. So the smallest ones would be the Willis Tower 1450 and 1483 because they have fours in the hundreds places and the others have a seven and a six and those are both larger. So since these have the same, we just need to go to the next place value and compare. So the Willis Tower has a five Patronus Towers have an 8, so 5, if we're comparing 5 and 8, 5 is less than 8. So that means that the smallest, the shortest, is the Willis Tower. Then the next one would be the Patronus Towers. So now we have to compare the last two, the One World Trade Center and Taipei 101. So in the hundreds place, this one has a 6, this one has a 7. 6 is less than 7. So this one would be the third shortest and one World Trade Center would be the tallest. So now that we have put them in order, let's list them from shortest to tallest. So the shortest was Willis Tower, 1,450 feet. Then we had 1, the Patronus Towers, 1,483 feet. Next was Taipei 101, which was 1,670 feet. 
And last was the World Trade Center, which was 1,776 feet. And the tallest is one World Trade Center. Number four, arrange these numbers from least to greatest. So I'm going to line them all up so that I can compare them. So 7,550, 5,070, 750. Make sure you keep everything lined up according to place value. 5,007 and 7,505. I'm going to start we're looking for the smallest. I'm going to start by looking at the largest place value. And it looks like this one's missing something right here. That means it doesn't have a thousands place. So there's really a zero there. You could fill in any blanks with zeros. So the smallest, if I'm looking for least to greatest, the smallest is this one with a zero. So 750 is the smallest. Next, if we're looking, this next smallest would be these two fives. So we need to look and see what's next to the fives. Well, they both have zeros next to each other. So we're going to move on to the tens place. This one has a seven. This one has a zero. The zero is smaller than seven. I'm going to say 5,007 is next. And then 5,070. Then our final two, they both have sevens. So we'll cross those out. Then they both have fives next. Then this one has a five. This one has a zero. So zero is less than five. So 7,505 would come next. And the largest would be 7,550. All right, the next one, arrange these numbers from greatest to least. So now we're gonna do the same thing, just we're gonna be looking for the largest number first. We have 426,000, 406,200, 640,020, and 46,600. I'm going to fill in a zero there so that they all have six digits in their place value. So if I'm looking for the greatest number in the first place value, which is the 100,000s, the greatest one is the six. So 640,020 is the largest number. We're done with that one. The next, then we have two fours. So these tie, we need to look at the next place value. So this one has a zero, this one has a two. So the two is greater than zero. So 426,000 would come next. Then we would have 406,200. And lastly, the smallest one is this one, 46,600. Number six, the areas of the 50 states can be measured in square miles. California is 158,648 square miles. Nevada is 110,567 square miles. Arizona is 114,007 square miles. Texas is 266,874 square miles. Montana is 147,47 square miles. And Alaska is 587,878 square miles. Arrange the states in order from least area to greatest. I'm going to start by listing all of them. One, let's see, California is 158,648 square miles. Nevada is 110,567. Arizona is 114,007. Texas 266,874. Montana 147,047. And Alaska 
is 587,878. So let's start by looking at the largest place value, which is the hundred thousands place right here. Make sure we have that one right there. Okay, so we're gonna look for the smallest, it wants us to do from least area to greatest area, so we're here we're looking for the smallest digits. So the smallest ones would be, let's see, California has a one, Nevada, Arizona, and Montana are all tied with these ones. So we need to move on to the next place value, the 10,000. So California has a five, Nevada has a one, Arizona has a one, Montana has a four. So the two smallest, are Nevada and Arizona, so we need to keep moving. So Nevada has a zero, Arizona has a four. So Nevada is gonna be the smallest, because zero is less than four. So we'd have Nevada, then Arizona. I'm gonna cross those off. Next, we need to compare Montana and California. So Montana has a four, California has a five, so Montana is smaller than California. Now I'll cross those off. So now we're comparing Texas and Alaska. So Texas has a two in the hundred thousands. Alaska has a five. So two is less than five. So Texas is smaller than Alaska. And there's the order.